this is my Colt model 41 caliber 1877 model 1877 and I want to make a, a little video log of it I've had it in the family for generations these are the original grips that came with it you can see how much uh, use they've had Uh, the spring or, or a screw has been broken or something. It's missing a couple of screws. But this is what the uh, the inside of it looks like with the barrel or the uh, whatever this thing is called is out. Right here. And here's the other end of it. Right here. It has some numbers on the bottom. I believe they're 43. It could be 48. My eyesight is not that good, but they all match here and here. 43208, which I believe it's an 1884 model. There is another number right here. I can't tell what that is. And I, I posted this. I've had it for years. This is the I haven't. I've never cleaned it either. But this is what the inside of the chamber, hell, I can't even think of the name right now what, it, what this is. But I wanted to show just how much wear this has had. The nickel plating, I thought it was chrome, but uh, that's kind of stupid because they probably didn't have chrome back in uh, 1887. This is what the inside looks like. You to show how much wear this gun has had. It's always been broken. Uh, I understand they're temperamental. Broken at, by the meaning it's either lost a. It, it has a screw gone here, and it has a screw gone right here. And these are the original grips that came with it. They're they're beautifully done. You cannot tell where the grips leave off and the the uh, n uh, the metal starts. It's it's a it's a wonderfully uh, balanced weapon and I had no idea that this is one of our, our pro prolific gunfighters in the Old West his name was John Wesley Harden he killed anywhere between 20 and 50 men only he knows for sure but this was a gun that was found with him after he was gunned down in a saloon this is a firing pin here and I'm, I'm I'm making this because I want to see uh, if it's worth any money. This is what it originally looked like right here. Uh, you can see on the nickel. Beautifully done. The I'm going to see if I can get a down the barrel shot of the rifling. Which is not going to be too well because I'm going to have to get a... I'm going to have to get, get out of there cat, uh, a light and put it on this end. But I just wanted to, it's an interesting piece. I've read about uh, uh, these gunfighters. I had no idea that uh, that uh, John Wesley Harden and um, Billy the Kid used the same gun. But in hefting it, and I'd like uh, to put this back in, like I said I've never cleaned this. The springs, uh, this is the, cat, get away from there. This is the, uh, what do we call it, pin extract? I don't know what the hell it is. Barrel, no. Anyway, you push a button right here. And it works perfectly. You push a button, and you push this in. Now, if you look at the, this item here, uh, that holds the, cartridge in or whatever it is. It's in beautiful shape. This spring works on the, this is a shell ejector I believe. This works perfectly and the shell ejector is, you can you can see what type of, what it looks like. Well, can't get a good thing. Get off that cat. And I believe this is an 1884 model, but that's the top of the trigger, barely even used. The grips, look how beautifully those grips 
uh, mold in. And that's without any cleaning. That's one side of it, and here's the other. I will, I am considering selling it. It says Colt DA41 on there, and this little area down here, there is no real scratches or, or uh, rust or anything on the gun. It's just uh, been, the nickel plating has just been worn off due to the age. I believe it's an 1888. No, 84. I'm not quite sure. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Anyway, if there's anyone out there that uh, knows about these guns or likes them, uh, uh, anyway, I just want to post this. All right. Thank you very much. This is a, a gun gun used by the old West gunfighters.